are almost running. Okay, great. So now we've got our standard view. I click the feedback button, and here comes my MF Mail um, Compose View controller that has, of course, the values that are set in. And you'll notice that, of course, we seem to be having an issue here um, where the CC and the BCC fields are not getting filled. So what's going on here? Well, um, if we actually look over to the left-hand side, you'll see that um, the problem is that I was silly enough to just copy and paste all of the code, but I didn't change these values. I called the wrong method for both CC and BCC. I didn't update this. So let's fix that real quick. And there are a couple more things that I want to show you how to do. So this will, of course, change, and it'll become set CC recipients. Let's see if I can call that method without breaking everything. So it's called my mail set CC recipients, and that's what that was. Okay, so we'll just. Would help if I knew what the name of the method was, or at least if I remembered. Okay, so with that done, we've to command us to save, and of course, this will probably be BCC. Let's see if I get lucky. Yep, okay. Now, if I run this application, so let's do it one more time. I hit the feedback, and now I've got all those values that I. Um, set up for both the two recipients, the CC recipients and the BCC recipients. You'll also notice that my subject um, has now been filled in and um, I've also included that text that I wanted in the body saying email some from my app and I've got the image uh, that's included as well. Okay, uh, now what's gonna happen is if I hit cancel I get this particular sort of set of options and I can hit delete draft and that goes away. Um, I can hit send and that's just about it, so it doesn't do anything else then. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to uh, switch a couple things around here. In our particular method, you know, we've got everything set up that we need to, our app runs fine, but there are probably a couple tweaks that we, pro we should make. For one, we are assuming that we will be able to send this email or that the device that we're on does support that. What if it does not? In that case, a best practice idea would be to actually check to see if that's available. So the way we do that is we come up here and we can put in an if statement and I will put in as a condition a method which is a class method which is which means we don't actually call it on our object but we actually call it on the MF mail Compose view controller class, and we can say can send email, and you know we can just leave this as is, or I could just explicitly come out and say is this yes, right? And if that is indeed the case, then I want you to come through and execute all of this code. So what we're going to do here is make this code the execution of whether or not we display this particular MF Mail Compose View Controller object conditional on whether or not our device can actually even send anything. If that does not work, as in that's not available, we might want to do put in an else statement and come down here and say something like uh, perhaps we display an alert. So what we can do here is we'll come back and say UI alert view and we'll say uh, error alert and then maybe we say something like all right so we say UI alert view alloc and let's see the init method that we want is actually this last one and it says init with title so we need to set the title to an in a string this is the title that will show up at the top we'll say error we'll say the message is your device can not send email. The delegate in this case will be self. The cancel button title, which is also an NS string, is just going to be OK. And the other button button titles, we don't really have any other buttons, so I'm just gonna hit delete on that one. And that is a nil terminated 
So that's so we do a command s to save. Now, of course, I'm getting a warning because of the fact that I haven't used this yet. So all I have to do is say error alert show. And now what's going to happen is when I run this code, we're not going to see really any difference um, between what we did just a second ago and what we've now got in place. But this is definitely a best practice idea because it means if the um, device that we're on is not able to display that view controller, at least there is sort of a graceful exit from that process as opposed to it just crashing and burning. Okay, with that done, we've got one last piece of um, code that we need to write. And what that relates to is the MF mail compose view controller delegate. Now, it turns out that there are certain things um, that the user can do. They could, for example, cancel out of the mail com compose view controller. Um, and we need to be able to handle some of those things. So the way we do that is we actually implement a method that is related to the MF mail compose view controller delegate. And to see the name of that method, I almost never remember it, is um, the best way to, of course, make sure you've got your utilities um, view uh, uh, visible. So if you can't see this right hand column, just expand it and then click on the name of the uh, delegate protocol and you'll notice that here on the right hand side within the quick help we get a link to the reference so let's click on that and that should bring it up in organizer now you'll notice that there is a um, a task that we, we need to implement and it's pr this particular method so what we do is we click on it we can copy all of this so I can do a command C to copy it and we'll jump back into our implementation file and I will implement this at the very end. Make sure I'm doing this correctly. Whoop, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so I paste that and here we go. And really what we're going to call here is we're going to say what is um, uh, the um, we, we need to do two things. First of all, we need to dismiss the the um, um, the view controller itself. So the way we do that is we're going to come down here and we're going to say self. And normally we'd say dismiss modal view controller animated, but uh, notice that just like the um, method that was available to show it, we the new one is is this one. And so again, it takes a block and we don't really want that so but we're gonna say animated yes and we're gonna set the completion to nil just like we did with the with the show and come back down here command s to save and now when we run our application we can see okay so I get this here if I hit cancel it's gonna ask me what do I want to do I want to delete the draft I can hit delete the draft and I go back to my particular uh, initial screen and I may not have illustrated this correctly earlier or um, well enough let me stop this and comment out this method so you can see exactly what you just implemented alright so with that done command s let's run this application one more time because um, I can't remember if I actually hit cancel the last time alright so with this comes up this time when I hit cancel again I get this if I hit delete wrap nothing happens cancel nothing's happening great so this is exactly why we want to implement this particular delegate method. So if I comment this back out, command us to save and then run the application, wait for it to come up in the simulator, and here it comes. Click on it, I hit cancel, again I get those same choices, I hit delete draft, it goes away. So this is why we want to implement this particular delegate method. Now, we're, we're pretty much done, and um, this is really enough for most people. But you may want to do a little extra. Um, and one of the things you can do is you can make use of the fact that this particular method gives you what actually occurred. So if, if I click on this particular parameter, it's called MF mail compose result, you'll notice that it's an enum and that it returns one of these values and I'm sure you can guess what these values mean one's called compose result cancelled one's called saved one's called sent and one's called failed right um, so what we might want to do of course is implement 
um, each of these and um, perhaps perform some kind of function or do something when the user completes a particular portion. So the way we would, way we would do that is we would come down here and we would go and say maybe use a switch statement and we can say something like um, the value that's being passed, the parameter, it's called uh, result. So that is the formal parameter. So we'll just say switch result. And for case, we can say mf mail compose result canceled. And what do we want to do here? Well, to save time, I'm just going to say do something. right? And what you do there is entirely up to you. Command C, I'm going to implement the rest of the cases. Um, I get an error, of course, because it's a case redeclaration. And let me delete that. And just hit the escape button, and I get the other options. Case failed. OK. Let's paste again. One more time, delete this. And the way I'm getting the rest of the options is I delete out the portion that I know would be the redeclaration, and then I hit escape um, on my keyboard, and then it prompts me with the other options. Saved. And one more time. We want, I believe this is just sent. Okay, very good. So just to show you exactly what I might do in a situation like this, um, I'm going to implement something here. And the easiest thing to do would be to just copy this. So let's do a command C. And maybe what we want to do is once the user sent uh, the message, we might want to um, display like a thank you note or something like that. Uh, the reason we're getting errors here, of course, is when you use case statements, if you've got multiple lines, you need to put them within these brace brackets. So um, let's see here. Make sure these are all lined up correctly. Command S. Okay. And this is going to be, we'll call it a thank you alert. Thank you. Let's change the title so it makes a little bit more sense. And change the message that says, Thank you for your feedback. Cancel button can still stay as OK. And we need to change this, of course, to say thank you alert. Command S to save. And we've got all of this in place now. Now let's go ahead and run our application. And whoop, already had that running. That's OK. Wait for it to get running in the simulator. And here it comes. Uh, here it is. So this time I'm going to bring up the feedback form. And I'm going to just type in some stuff. And I am going to hit send. And I get this nice little alert that says, thank you for your feedback. And I'm taken right back to that one view controller. So that's it. That's how you implement in-app email within your application. This way, you don't have to make the user go to the mail application. And then remember to come back to your application. You can do it all within your particular um, app itself. So thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. And hope you get lots of nice feedback on your applications.